Fora TV. The world is thinking. In many ways, our founders were geniuses. Uh, the Constitution was far from perfect. It had some serious flaws at the beginning. But I'm convinced it was the best document as a, as a contract between the people and the government. And uh, yet, not too long after it was established, the erosion started. But I would say that in the last hundred years, there's been serious erosion. But it's more rapid now than ever before. I think our freedoms are disappearing. I think what was happening today is you as a generation are inheriting a mess. You're inheriting a mess. It's overcommitment overseas, overcommitment here at home within an entitlement system. And you have, you'll be inheriting a currency that has no value. If the value de depends on trust, and the trust is waning, and therefore the value of the currency is going down. So you're inheriting this, and you as a generation will make a decision. But the basic question you have to ask is, what should the role of government be? The founders asked that question, and, and they came up with a pretty good answer. They said the role of government ought to be but one thing, protect liberty. That's the purpose of government. That should be the... <laughs> And it should be the uh, purpose of all political action is to protect liberty. Now, some don't believe that should be so limited because they believe that the government has to do a lot more. The government has to have safety nets. Safety net for the business people, safety net for everybody else for whatever reason. Anybody who has a need has a, uh, needs a safety net. And uh, they've lost conviction that freedom works a lot better than central economic planning. But central economic planning fails. I think one of the reasons why we've gotten a lot more attention this year than uh, this message has gotten in the past is the recognition that government is failing. Because when you have a free society and you have sound money and free markets, you have tremendous prosperity. And we became the freest and the most prosperous country in the world in all of history. But all of a sudden, people are feeling not so rich anymore and they're realizing that it's based on, on debt. And uh, it is this recognition that the government fails. I think, I think a good demonstration of the failure of government has to do with how the central government, how our federal government took care of all the victims of, uh, of Hurricane Katrina. All of a sudden, you know, we're dependent on the government. The government builds the levees and the government's supposed to bail out the water when the levees break. And all of a sudden they didn't do a very good job. They sent a lot of money. I mean, the Congress immediately did what they're supposed to do, appropriate more money. But, but the job was overwhelming. They said, well, uh, let's pass up some checks because people are, you know, need some money. So they started passing out $2,000 checks to anybody who got in line. And lo and behold, the lines got long and the people from outside New Orleans got in line. And then the government discovered it. And they say, oh, they shouldn't have done that because the wrong people got the money. We're going to send them a letter and we're going to tell them they weren't qualified for that and we want you to send the money back. <laughs> and it's just, it just doesn't work, but I think it typifies it. Foreign policy. I mean, how successful on foreign policy? We're supposed to spread democracy, but we've been doing that since Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson was the idealist. He said, we're going to, you know, uh, make the world safe for democracy. But just think of what's happened the last hundred years.